Mr. 83 coming with, I guess, uh, blah, blah, blah vlog, I guess y'all can say. Actually, underrated sneakers and quality changing and how everything is going to be, again, crazy this year with all these um, releases and all. We're talking about already naming over 17 pairs of retros, just retros from Jordan brand itself remastered. Um, does that mean that they're going to bring out regular and there's going to be two different types of sneakers? No. Jordan already said it. I don't know if y'all know. Jordan already said it. All sneakers that they're making retro-wise are going to be remastered. Um, which is great and, aw and awesome because they bumped the prices anyways almost sky high. Um... I mean, come on, the uh, uh, Air Jordan 1 Retro for $160 is nuts. But it is what it is, better quality. We're paying for it. Um, I have a couple of sneakers around me right now next to me. that I'm, I'm, I have a couple examples of past deals that I've done and underrated sneakers that I've caught for the super low because people just slept on them. And... What I think about what's going to happen this year and what I'm going to think about copying this year. Um, so let's get right into it. So I'm going to start straight up here and talking about underrated sneakers. I have so many. Y'all know me. I've popped up very underrated sneakers and some very limited rare sneakers. Uh, as y'all know, I was probably, to me, to my knowledge, I was the first one, and I'm going to keep repeating it because that was awesome. That was my first time ever having a first of video on YouTube, I guess you could say. And that was when I brought the Michelangelo M Squads. Um, very dope sneaker, and not the only, one of the limited is one I have, um, but it did sell out on the first couple minutes, and then they did a like a small restock. I guess for orders that didn't fall through right. Um, but there's those. I got my shredders, uh, which are very limited. I think I've, I've seen them go right now between 200 to $250. And it was a $70 sneaker. Um, I have so many different type of underrated sneakers that is just nuts. Uh, I finished off last year with, finished up collecting the, I think one of the most underrated um, Christmas pack, which is the Reebok, uh, Christmas pack, which was very dope. It was very Christmassy, except one wasn't kind of, and it's the one that I have out here, which I wore about three times recently. Uh, and that's these right here, the Christmas future. But I mean, you got to understand it's Christmas future, guys. It ain't Christmas present, you know? So the shoes understandable why it doesn't have too many. Well, only has one Christmas color, really, but very dope in detail. Y'all want to see it, you know, in-depth review, go ahead and check out the video on it. Um, I have so many underrated sneakers, like these fell under people's eyes, too, which was, I guess you could say, kind of like, no, because Cowboys are like a navy blue, kind of, but this is um, Deion Sanders, the Diamond Turfs, and these are just bananas. I got these for 16 bucks at Ross. And I've worn them like three times to walk the dog. Comfortable. Um, I do remember the originals being true to size. I don't know why these feel small. So I went and grabbed a 14. And as y'all can see, Ross put it was supposed to be 50. But I got it for $16. Very dope. Uh, then from the past, I've gotten these right here. Which are one of my favorites. I've... I've worn them like twice or three times. And the reason why is because this material right here is just, y'all can see how it just picks up lint so easily. It's just so nice. To me, it's really nice. I mean, I've seen other Nike sneakers just, oh my God, that new book or new book suede they have just sucks. But this sneaker right here is just dope. I want to see in-depth review on this one too. Go ahead and check it out. Um... I got videos on all these sneakers, so yeah, go ahead and see that. I think the only one I did not do, which I have right here on me, is the Feline 96. 
don't think I did an in-depth review on this one. I did like a quick review on it. But the leather on this is actually really nice. It's not the best, but it's actually a really nice tumble leather. Um, the pan leather, you know, the usual from the Feline 96, whoever knows what Feline 96 are. So it's just, I think these were called the Hamptons, um, but I call them the whiteouts. Because uh, they're basically an all-white sneaker with the gum bottom. Y'all can see I rocked them. I actually rocked them for the whole day, and these are so comfortable. Oh, my God. My wife says that the the spaghettis are super comfortable. That's her favorite sneakers, actually, the Feli Spaghettis. And I'm going to tell you, I agree with her, but this sneaker right here, I've been trying to convince her to get a pair for herself, but... We'll see if she'll ever convert to getting a 96. Uh, right now, they're dirt cheap. Y'all want to get them, go ahead and go to Sears. Sears has like five, four or five different colorways um, for 20 bucks. So go ahead and check that out. I'm thinking about doubling up on at least two of them, which would be the Hamptons, the Whiteouts, and the Red Suede's. But don't know yet if that's going to happen. We got to see. And then... There's another one from the past, um, which is this low right here, which has so many different materials. If y'all want to go see an in-depth review on these, go ahead and check it out, man, because uh, let's do a quick one right here. We got suede right there, which is amazing. It's pretty buttery. We have a smooth leather. We have like a rough leather, almost like a canvas. Tumbled leather, which also goes right here. You can see the three different type of leather. We have a smooth, a tumble, a more grainy tumble leather, I guess, and a smoother tumble leather right here. Um, we have canvas, patent leather, and that's really it, which is pretty dope. It's just basically all the materials that Nike makes, and then, oh yeah, the infamous icy blue bottom, which is nuts. This sneaker, my wife... She has her ifs or buts about these. I was gonna get her for the get her these for her, but she has her ifs or buts. But yo, this is just dope. The padding on this tongue. It's like I could take this tongue and use it as a pillow, basically. It would be nuts, you know. Cause I've actually worn these like three or four times and like I said, that's a problem with me. I am very, very anal, I guess you can say, with my material sneakers so if that day is gonna rain i ain't wearing no sneaker that has any type of like hairy suede if it's a new buck like a uh, very small how about i say do i have any on here no no this was hairy also and y'all can see why i wore these one side in the rain and you can see that it has discolorations and little parts but not much because it was only drizzling that day but Oh, well, yeah, here we go. Right here. Like this one. This one, I'm not too afraid of wearing them in the rain. Because it's very... It's a new buck. You know, a dual buck. Um, all you have to do is put that water-resistant spray or whatever they have. And you're straight with that. Um, but, yeah. Um, what else? What else can we jump in? Uh, underrated sneakers. Bam, right here. Biggest one for me. I got these for like a, I think, what was it? Is it about 130 or 150? I think it was 130, if I'm not wrong. They were like 130, guys. And it was like two or three months after the sneaker released. And I have not seen a sneaker drop so quick, especially a phone. Because you go ahead and check it out. And they, there's some places that still have the, the Timberland phones, the wheat phones. And those are still going for 200 my wife says they're ugly. I think they're dope, but they got <laughs> different tastes. Um, like, okay, for instance, she's a big fan of Air Force Ones. I can't stand Air Force Ones. They're just so heavy for no reason. I feel like the soul is just going to separate completely from it. But something that convinced me, since I have it right here behind me, that I might end up getting some if they remastered them. And that's the Lunar one. Air Forces. These are under right here. Underrated. Thing. I think we got these for... On the front. No, we got them cheaper than this. On the front. 
Yeah, on the front. I didn't, but it no, was, the other side. No, it's not over here, man. Oh. Well, I know we got these for like twenty bucks. Yeah. We ended up getting these for twenty bucks because I remember I got these for twenty for her, and then I paid eighty for my Air Revolutions, which I know was one of my favorite sneakers, but um, I ended up not sure putting it on my top ten because it was one that I wore the most and I loved the most, but um. Let me cut it short here because my time is up and I don't want to make it to this one too long. So we'll leave it at here for now, guys. And I will continue in my next vid, uh, part two of this. I'm going to call it the blah, blah vlog because um, I'm just, just jibber jabbering about what's coming up and everything. But go ahead and check that out. This is Henry Mr. 83. Oh, yeah. Check out my Instagram and my Twitter. Henry Mr. D. Sam is here for any updates on sneakers or sneakers I'm feeling. And uh, there's a couple I have put up there. So go ahead and check that out. This is Henry Mr. 83. God bless. Later.